from the National Newsroom of the Canadian Press. I'm Karen Rebo. Members of Parliament are back in Ottawa today to begin a busy and potentially precarious sitting for the governing minority Liberal government. An early election call is more likely since the New Democrats broke their political pact with the government. And Conservative leader Pierre Polyev has already committed to testing Parliament's confidence in the Liberals at the first opportunity. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh has said he'll take each confidence vote as it comes, but members of his party have expressed little interest in an election anytime soon. Lisa Laporte, The Canadian Press. Police in Florida arrested a man named Ryan Routh in connection with what the FBI describes as another apparent assassination attempt against former U.S. President Donald Trump. No official charges have been announced yet or even why he was believed to be waiting for the former president at his West Palm Beach golf course yesterday. It's more now from ABC's Lionel Moise. Police have not released the motive, but investigators are exploring whether the suspect was upset by Trump's position on Ukraine. Records show 58-year-old Routh lived in North Carolina for most of his life before moving to Hawaii in 2018. This would mark the second assassination attempt on Trump's life in the last nine weeks. A judge is set to deliver a twice-delayed verdict this morning in Ottawa in a sexual assault trial for a former senior military officer. Former Vice Admiral Hayden Edmondson was the head of the military's personnel in 2021 when he was accused of raping a woman while they were deployed together back in 1991. The Toronto International Film Festival has rescheduled screenings of a controversial documentary after it paused showings of Russians at war over significant threats to festival operations and public safety. Tito Jackson, one of the brothers who made up the beloved pop group The Jackson 5, has died at the age of 70. Tito was the third of nine Jackson children, which includes global superstars Michael and sister Janet. His three sons announced their father's death late Sunday in a post on Instagram. The Jackson 5 included brothers Jackie, Tito, Jermaine, Marlon, and Michael. Inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame in 1997, the family group produced several number one hits in the 1970s, included I Want You Back, ABC, and I'll Be There. And there was an actual surprise win at the Emmys last night. It came in the category for Best Comedy. Hacks. The Max series Hacks winning for its third season, beating The Bear, which had set the record for the most comedy nominations ever at the Emmys. But The Bear did get a bunch of wins, including three of the four acting categories, breaking its own record for Emmy wins in a year, 11. On the drama side, Shogun. The epic series adding to a record it already set for the most wins in a season, 18 total. Best Limited series went to Netflix's Baby Reindeer. Backstage at the Emmys, Jason Athenson, ABC News. This is the Canadian Press. In sports, NFL action on Sunday. The Houston Texans scored 13 points in the second quarter and held on to beat the visiting Chicago Bears 19-13. C.J. Stroud threw for 260 yards and a touchdown for Houston, while Chicago QB Caleb Williams, the number one overall pick in the NFL draft, was sacked seven times. Aaron Rodgers was a winner for the first time in 623 days. His New York Jets beat the Tennessee Titans 24-17 to even their record at one and one. The Dallas Cowboys were throttled at home, blitzed 44-19 by the unbeaten New Orleans Saints. In baseball action, the Toronto Blue Jays managed to sweep their three-game series against the visiting St. Louis Cardinals with a 3-2 victory on Sunday. The Jays have Monday off and will open a three-game series against the Rangers in Arlington, Texas. Aaron Judge hit his major league leading 53rd homer and the Yankees beat the Boston Red Sox 5-2. From the Canadian Press, I'm Karen Rebo. Thanks for listening. Don't forget to follow and subscribe. For more of today's top stories, visit the Canadian Press News.ca.